Hey, hey, how's everybody doing this evening? I want to take this time to brag about my love-hate relationship I have with YouTube. Everybody knows YouTube is notorious for suppressing relevant information. Agents wasn't too pleased the way I danced around their guidelines on that last video, so they decided to send me a message the best way they know how. So within two hours after releasing that video, I get a strike. A strike on a video that's almost two years old. But this is the fun part, finding out the reason. Dun dun dun! Misinformation. Is that a new one? I never heard of that one. Misinformation. <laughs> what are they getting me on misinformation for? Let's see. Content that advances false claims that widespread fraud, errors, or glitches change the outcome of the U.S. 2020 presidential election is not allowed on YouTube. When did they stick that in? And plus, if you watch that video, if you go to BitChute, it's on BitChute. If you watch that video, I said nothing about the election being uh, changed or whatever. I gave, uh, I pointed out reasons that it looked suspicious. And I only, only, I only talked about people that talked about the election. They trying to say, I'm pushing it. I'm not pushing it. I'm just talking about, I'm critiquing. What, what's that? They say, uh. I'm criticizing. I'm criticizing other videos. How about that? They don't want to give me that credit. They got to show, they got to teach me a lesson. They got to send me a message. Don't be sending out stuff we can't take down. We can take something else down in its place. And another thing, didn't this same thing happen last October? A three-peat. So when stuff like that happen, you need to start paying attention. Pay attention to the ones they deleted and pay attention to the ones of why they deleted it. Like, what was the reason they deleted it? The reason they deleted it was because of that last video. I sent out some uh, little bits of truth there, but it's twisted up where it's it's a story. You you don't know if it's true or not, but they didn't like it. For some reason, they felt that it was true. Maybe because it might be. So they decided to take another video because they can't really get that video I'm sorry, they can't really get that video just yet. Not till they stick something else in the guideline. They always slip in something in the new guideline, but they don't tell you until you get a strike. So pay attention to that. Something else I want to talk about too. Have you seen, when the last time you seen organic bananas do this? I seen these bananas at uh, Publix today. Today, November 1st. Uh, these are organic bananas. Got spots like measles. When did bananas start doing that? You got to be suspicious about organic stuff now. I mean, should have been suspicious about it before, but man, now it's like they really cutting corners. I, I don't know what's going on with these bananas, but the, uh, the regular ones look all right. The, uh, <laughs> I don't want to give them credit, but you know which one I'm talking about, the Franken food. But the, uh, the organic, why are they looking like that? What are they doing to it? So I'm just letting you know about that. And I want to talk about this. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you heard about the diesel shortage, the diesel fuel shortage about... 20 something days 25 26 i don't know we got <clears throat> we got that many days left <clears throat> they it's always i don't know i don't know what they're doing but it, they're i, I noticed most people putting in the fear that um that's the lifeline of a uh, uh of the united states of america which is true because once the diesel stop the diesel truck stop that's the lifeline the life bloodline of america of this country Things have stopped, so people panicking about that. That's all everybody keep talking about. But you know what they do? They always have some kind of solution. So you know what they're gonna push? Electric trucks. That's what they're gonna push. They already got them on the road, so they're gonna start pushing that. So they're gonna let the diesel fuel run out. Oh, oh, oh! What what can we do to solve this problem? I know. We'll stick in those electric trucks with those flammable batteries and let them go. And while we at it, we take some people out their jobs. How about that? So I'm just letting you know. Pay attention to what's going on. There's always some BS. Every time they try to scare you, what they're scaring you from, they're giving you a solution to what they're scaring you for. So pay attention to that. And um, I guess that's about it. I just wanted to slip that in there before uh, anything else get deleted. I meant to screenshot these um, uh, my videos because they're going to start looking in the archives, popping off ones, trying to teach me a lesson. You know how it goes. So, Oh, and that's another thing. They wouldn't monetize that video. They claimed that it wasn't, um, in so many words, it wasn't marketable content. And it's a long video. I'm surprised. But that's why um, you should go to BitChute. You'll see everything on BitChute or Patreon. You'll see even more on Patreon. So I'm just letting you know that. And I'm rambling now. And I will talk to you again soon. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for watching. And I appreciate everyone's support. And I'll talk to you real soon. Peace. 
Thank <laughs> you.